So this is the digital trends, castle bread, and phase one contacts. It's ISO pretty well. Everything is touchscreen. So this is I can push this. I can lock the certain lenses and values. So if I click lock, this won't change anything. If I do dial this one, you can really see what that's how cool it is. And it's pretty useful, I can see flash analysis, I can see focus range, I can see the seismograph, the presets. If I turn on this, turn it off and on. If I click this again, turn it on. It's IQ3, so this is the IQ3 100 megapixel line. So that's the shutter, you just heard a really loud shutter, it's pretty cool. And it's pretty well. It's really heavy. I would say it's about uh, 15 pounds for a camera. The Sony A7 I'm using right now to film is really not used to it. So this is what it looks like with all the specs and everything that's added all this equipment and these very phase one Sony lenses. Um, this is a 100 megapixel lens. And this is the 50 megapixel really aspect of the phase one digital trends camera. The size thermometer is pretty well. But yeah, this is the phase one digital trends camera. Um, look through the visor. Everything. If you want to see the photo, it's pretty well. It's really, really nice. Probably can't even see what I'm seeing right there, but that is beautiful. Anyways, this camera is amazing. I know we're able to afford this, but this is awesome. Um, but yeah, it's time to test out. And I'm gonna put the camera to the side and let's show you what the power so can do. So this is me taking a picture of the Sony A7. This is a 100 megapixel photo, and it's really powerful. <laughs> Pretty good. So the shutter is really loud, but everything else is up to par with what I expected with the camera. The XF is a really good tool. And it's really nice. And time for more shots. So to show y'all the power of this camera, I took a photo of the solar backpack I have. And what you see on this camera looks totally different than what you see on this camera which is 100 megapixels and it's super touchscreen so you can double tap, you can zoom. It's really accessible, it's user friendly and you're actually paying the bang for your buck, like literally. If everything's in detail, it's like you're seeing it almost within a human eye except 10 times crystal clear. Um, you can even see the indents inside the backpack like that one and that one. Those are indents that are right here. You can barely see it on my camera. The indents are right here and right here. You can't even see it in person. You can, but not in the camera aspect of the aspect of how well this camera captures the actual image itself in an in-person style view of 100 megapixels. Well, this lens is the power, thanks to Hasselblad and all the combinations of attachments of camera. So this is one attachment, two attachment, the lens, and this, this attachment, which this is what makes the camera, I think, worth 45,000. This is 45, this is another 10, 15 lenses. Yeah, you pretty much get the deal. This is way more expensive than any Mercedes. Plus, you would be able to shoot Mercedes in really crisp detail, but yeah. And here we go. Show you more of the image. Take a high pixelated image and even double tap. And you can even change how far I can actually zoom in, which is means I can actually change each detail in Photoshop really well. And even do that, which is a really cool aspect of the camera. Of even seeing the the actual camera itself and actually hearing it change focus. As well as you shoot it and everything. That was with this object that's over here. But yeah, this is really cool. There's a back focus right here. 
And let's get that in focus real quick, because you can see it. There you go, there's the back focus. And there's even a front focus on a normal, some cameras you'll see. And yeah, really cool. Have to use it for a few shots, and I'm really having fun with this camera so far. You can't really walk on the studio space since you already know Spike Studios, you have to repaint them over and over. But I'm gonna have fun more shooting my backpack. Changing the brightness of the dynamic range, that's how much hair you can see. Like, can your camera do that? No, I don't think so. You can do it on this camera. Yeah, that's a lot of detail in one photo.